located 30 kilometers on the north northwest of the city of Antalya in the southwestern Turkey. It is also situated nearly 80 meters below the level of the plain in the foothills of the Western Taurus Mountains. Its altitude is 380 meters from the sea level. Kızılin is a cave site, but the main occupation is on the open air terrace of the cave. Uh, it was found and first excavated in the year of 1956 by Professor Kılıçgöv'den, uh, but it was only limited with a seasonal small sounding. After him, I started to dig there in 2017, so it's a new excavation. We have only one radiocarbon date yet, and it is the 16th millennium BC. Considering the related level at this date, we have the uh, occupational phases above this level, and we have the occupational phases just below this level as well. So this means uh, we will have earlier dates from the 16th millennium BC too. We call this period is uh, Epipaleolithic. In other words, it is the end of the last ice age. So it was really, really cold period. These prehistoric communities were semi-sedentary hunters and gatherers. In that area, they were hunting middle-sized animals like wild goat, wild sheep, uh, and uh, small size animals like hare, water bird, um, turtle and fish. They were collecting the wild fruits as well. Uh, this is a kind of um, broad spectrum economy. Beside Kızılin, there are three other epipelotic cave sites which are Ekuzini, Karayimbi and Çarkani on the southern slopes of the mountain. As I told you before, uh, the period was very cold and the conditions like ecology and climate were much better in this southern part of the mountains than the upper highlands. So the mobile communities occupied the area to be in safe and good conditions. This complex system quite resembles to the Mount Carmel cave sites in Israel. Kızılin is a new excavation, but we have very important recoveries as well. It's a good chance that in our second campaign, we found two stone human figurines. Let me say that those figurines are the earliest stone human figurines of Anatolia. Our studies are still continuing on all of the findings. Beside our excavations, we will also focus on to reconstruct an epipaleolithic way of life just next to the site. This attempt will bring an idea not only for local people but also for the foreigners that how was the epipaleolithic and how did they survive in that region. Finally, if you visit that province, you will be able to make trekking activities, you will see a series of cave settlements, lots of fresh water springs and hospitality of the local people and their culture.